Hey everybody, Jeff Bates is my name. Dole Whip Dad is his channel. We're going to do a Diz Biz episode today. So sometimes I like to talk about the business of Disney. I know I probably lost a bunch of you right there, but I like it. Morgan Stanley, this is right off of CNBC, just did an article. Actually, it's, it was Tuesday. It was Tuesday. Um, Disney's earnings will nearly double in four years. What does that mean for you and me? A lot. Let's talk about it. So I know a lot of people like to get annoyed when Disney's making a lot of money. I'm not one of them. I see it as a good thing. I like Disney. I like what they're doing. I like going to the parks. I look forward to going on a Disney cruise someday. I like the merch. I like the movies. I like the entertainment. I like the company. And when they do good, they create more. Disneyland, as I film this, is not doing huge numbers and people are confused on why. The annual pass holders have already seen Galaxy's Edge. They went for their annual pass holder preview and then some of them went on opening day just because they wanted to be there for the crazy. I'm doing that in Orlando. And people are confused on why numbers are low and they attendance numbers and they think this means they're having a bad year. <laughs> they're not. They're having a great year. Now you can say, oh well, yeah, maybe they're having a good year, but in the Disney parks are having a bad year. No, we'll see. They're doing fine. And I see that as a good thing. I really, really do. I'm not, I'm not upset when they're making a lot of money. Here's right from the headlines. Morgan Stanley says Disney's earnings will nearly double in four years. Disney can nearly double its earnings by 2024, Morgan Stanley said in a note to its clients on Tuesday. This is Morgan Stanley telling people they're supposed to, they get paid to advise by Disney stock. The firm's equity analyst, Benjamin Swinemern, said Marvel's content plays perhaps the most critical role in building Disney Plus's value for customers. We don't know what Disney Plus is. It's their streaming service. People are saying it's going head to head against Netflix. I don't know if I agree with that. I think it's going to do great. And I don't think it'll hurt Netflix that much, although Netflix is having a bad couple months, but that's a whole other thing. The acquisition of Marvel a couple years ago has already paid off in unbelievable dividends. If they couldn't make another penny off of the over billion dollar purchase of the Marvel Studios, that acquisition alone has been wildly profitable. Wildly pro profitable. And they are just moving into phase four of the movies and the parks and, and, and the merch. It was a great acquisition. Money is going to be made. Even if, if, if Marvel was the only part of the company, it's going to be a hugely profitable company. The stock has climbed nearly 30% so far this year. It jumped in one day. The day they announced the Disney Plus streaming service pricing, that's the day that it went up 30%. That one day, it had gone up 10% on the year previous to that and it went up 30% that day. Um, so yeah, that's insane. Um, and this, where'd I go? Disney will nearly double its earnings by 2024. I already said that. The firm said Disney can double its earnings per share from 650 in 2020 next year. Earnings per share to between 11 and $12 in 2024 as it builds the Disney Plus streaming customer base. All the companies who are out there trying to make big money are trying to get monthly fees. That's the way to get into our pocket a little bit every month. You get a hundred, a million, a billion people writing you a check every month. Well, you have a good company. Disney stock has nearly climbed 30% so far this year. Although Disney faces a large execution challenge for its streaming service. I don't think I agree with that. Bam Tech, MLB. Disney bought it. It's the class of the space right now. It's the best of the best. It's If you're watching live sports, you're probably watching it with the BAM Tech technology. Disney bought that. That's what's going on with Disney Plus. Or, excuse me, ESPN Plus. It's hugely profitable and it's clearly the leader. So I don't agree with that, but hey, what do I know? Disney's banking on getting 60 to 90 million Disney Plus subscribers by 2024. 60 to 90 million people writing you a check every month. You don't have to raise prices. I hear a lot of people saying, oh, they're just going to get us on the low price and raise it. Maybe, probably not. They're going to get everyone not to try to get a lot from a few people. Marvel has broken beyond fanboy demand to mass market. These goals are realistic. Yeah. And I'm, I am I wasn't a Marvel fanboy. I, don't, I didn't even like comic books when I was a kid. I had a daughter. I had four daughters. And one of my daughters liked Marvel. That got me into it. Disney bought it. Boom. And that's what's going on right now. Swineburn also said Marvel will play a large role in achieving international streaming subscribers. Disney estimates roughly two-thirds of its Disney Plus subscribers will come from outside the U.S. Wow. 
bolstered by the international appeal for Marvel's brand. The firm has an overweight rating on the stock and 160 price tag. It's about 149, I believe. The company whose market value is around 253 billion is trading at around 140 per share. I should have kept reading. Wow. So that was a long way of saying it's still time to buy Disney stock. It really is. I, I It just really is. They're in good times and in bad times, people like Disney. People go to the movies. If you look at the movie industry right now, nobody's doing good but one studio, Disney. And much of that is Marvel, but let's watch. You know, Toy Story 4 came out recently. Lion King just came out. They're killing it. What other movies are doing well? Tarantino's got a movie coming out today as I film this. It's getting great reviews. We'll see how it does. Lion King got bad reviews and is getting paid. Tarantino's getting great reviews. Guarantee it doesn't touch Lion King. That's probably an unfair example, but is it? So this is a long way of saying the future is bright for Disney. Prices are going up because of space limitation in the parks. I'm talking about Walt Disney World right now. Um, profits are going up because Marvel. What say you? Do you like these Disbiz vids? I like them. I like talking about the business of Disney, Disbiz. It's fun to say. I like them. I like to know what you think. Let me know. Did you even watch to the end? Let me know in the comments. Maybe you're one of those people who just thinks, oh, it's too expensive. That's okay, too. You can tell me that. And maybe I just annoyed you because you're one of those people and I just made fun. That's okay, too. Thanks for watching. Have the best day ever. Go buy some Disney stock. Oh, and fair warning, I'm a shareholder. I own like six or seven shares. It's nothing. But there you go. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Go do something awesome for somebody. See ya.